Uh, how can I join the Trans My Contest? Hey, just join in, man. We're going to be announcing these more and more often, so make sure you're subbed to that YouTube channel and following the Twitch. I'm going to be announcing these. We're going to do these every, like, two weeks or something like that. Because I want you guys to start coming up with more creative shit, because you're going to get the freaking best t-shirt if you win. Everybody, I want everybody to line up, okay? On this line. Line up. Line up right here. Line up right here. I'm so excited for to rate Gammon's Transmog. Because they think that they look the best. And the winner of this Transmog competition, we're going to go through, like, two rounds. I'm going to break it down to, to the top, like, three. And then I'm going to choose the top one from there, okay? <sighs> Ramps. Oh, my God. Ramps, I feel like, I feel like I've seen this on me. I feel like I actually wore 88% of this transmog. I feel like this is the actual same belt that I wore before, which is actually from a from a recent set actually. But it it actually reminds me of a diaper now for some reason, at least with the pants that I was looking at. Insurgent scarring chain. Yeah, that's it's actually pretty funny because I'm pretty sure that's from something. I think it's actually from is it from BOD? Oh my god. Dude, he should have started with the fists. He comes out swinging with the... F oh, my God. I'm pretty sure... Isn't that from Emerald... Are those from Emerald Nightmare? No, those are from Grog. Holy shit. No love, I see. Kerwin, I love you. Dude, and the, the, the nips are out, so you're going to get bonus points for that. The shoulders, you know how I feel about shoulders, and I can already kind of see a preview here. Gronk, it is from Gronk, dude. Oh, my God. As an enhanced shaman, I have to say... Especially with Thrall coming back, I give a lot of respect to you for, for sticking with Enhance. With the, I think that the uh, the orange is a little bit... The nips, though. The nips are out, dude. I have to tell you, I, I don't have this chest piece. This is actually a pretty sweet chest piece. Orgrimmar chest guard, apparently maybe that's not that hard to get. But this is the most like streamlined chest piece I think I've, I've seen in a while. You are a blue orc, too. So, if you were... I would say this. Okay, I'm not going to... We'll see how mean or harsh I am. But if you were a Maghar, I think your color scheme actually goes pretty well together between your weapons. Even the chest guard and the helmet, the boots are like a little red. Get mean, baby. The boots are a little red. There's some orange here, but it's like the orange and the blood. I think that if you are a Maghar, this would look like a bunch of tiers higher. But, but you know, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm, I'm going to digest this, but, uh, yeah, the boot, I mean, I understand what you're trying to do with the bones, and it actually works for, like, 50, for the bottom half of you, but I, the nips just came out suddenly, the, the, the helmet is, I'm a big fan of it, but, uh, yeah, can you bring out your weapons again? What were the enchants that you had? I'm pretty sure there was two different enchants on there, too, it's, it is, it is nice. The weapons are, are actually really refreshing to see. All right, we have a gold enchant, okay, okay, just one. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I think if you went, there there might, you know, enchants are tough because I feel like you can go no enchants on this. I'm surprised it even lets you do enchants because of the blood dripping. I forgot what they are. I'm surprised that, I think this is Executioner and this is the same thing that I wear actually right now. But I think that if, it's so hard to balance enchants, but I think I'm in the right spot. You're probably at the end, yeah. All right, okay, all right. I mean, I think it's, I think it's all right. I think it's alright. If you're a Maghar, it would fit really, really well. The belt, the bones, is really has it going on. I'm really curious if there's the chest piece, the nips, though. They're so strong. I'm just, yeah, I'm thinking about what else for the bones perspective that could be there. The pants, too, like, are the, uh... Yeah, the pants have the fur and everything. I don't know. I, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. The color scheme is almost fully there. I think if there was boots that were orange, like if these are the the mythic version and there's a normal version that's orange, I think it could. Uh, I think it could be there, guys. Ch Chat, what do you think? What do you think? Chat, what do you think from one to ten? I'm not. I'm not going to judge yet. I'm not going to judge yet. I'll pick the top three to go to the next round. I think uh, you know, coming off the cuff here, I think it's looking pretty good. This purple is triggering me a little bit. Purple's triggering me a little bit. It's really, it's really, uh, it's really not bad. And that belt has lovely. I say a 6.5. I say a 7 out of 10. All right. All right. All right. There's some respect. There's some respect out there. Especially as an enhance. The hands are just savage, though. I'm in love with those fists. The fists are just incredible, dude. I've never seen those. I didn't know they were even there. 
that's all right all right all right ramps uh thank you just uh please hold tight oh there he is malterra has showed me this a little bit earlier he is the Magkar. I would say Magkar has, you know, if you guys didn't know about Magkar's racial, Magkar's racial is looking awesome and badass, number one. And then the rest doesn't even matter because it doesn't do anything. David, and David, thanks for uh, sticking around, my friend. We'll see what happens next. All right, so for your transmog, my friend, I saw it a little bit earlier. It's not a sneak peek in the battleground. I actually really like the mixture of, like, because your flesh tone is, like, it's dark. It's kind of like the dark purple red, but it also has, like, kind of orangey. And then out in your weapon and your belt and your shield you're all matching with the fiery kind of animation which is actually i think that's actually hard to do consistently and i think you really did it well between your belt and your shield i think your the your shoes your shoes have a little bit of the clipping action going on i think but it looks like their sandals are there they're probably crocs let's be honest they do look like crocs so i'm gonna give you a hard time there the gloves are pretty good. The gloves fit everything really well for what it seems like you're going with. The helmet is actually a pretty good fit, especially even with your eye colors. Even the, yep, the animation there kind of fits with everything. Can you take your weapons out one more time, please? The shield actually, I'm not even, I'm not 100% sure where this shield even comes from. Bullwork we'll of the Fallen General. The, this is a pretty, Pretty unique piece. The weapon is, I've never actually seen this weapon like used in a transmog set before, but that's even glowing a little bit. So it is pretty cool. You know, Ellie's don't usually have a weapon out, so it's not as big of a deal. It usually sits on your back. Uh, well, I guess your shield is gonna sit on your back too, but. Uh, but yeah, the belt I'm a big fan of, especially with everything else going on. I think I think this is pretty solid actually. I think this is this is pretty good. Your, ne your, your chest piece, I cannot, I can't tell you how much I appreciate nips are out plus two points uh, and not necessarily all the cases but you know solid nips solid nips you do have the so the, I know this uh, chess piece really really well because I use it in a lot of my transmogs which are you know they're tickle transmogs but it has the purple lining you only have two choices you have purple or you have green if you were a green orc I don't think this set would look good I don't think this set would look very good at all or at least it wouldn't look like all kind of sticking together so i actually really do like it i really like the set i love the crocs i don't know uh uh not many good chests in the game there really aren't it is tough and i do appreciate the fact that i don't think this is a s i do appreciate that it's not a set ferocious because i don't think the chest is ferocious yeah that's prideful that's hidden shoulders yep yeah, ferocious vindictive 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 yeah uh, like three sets mixed together. Yeah, it does. It is kind of nice. The bulwark, and I do like the weapon. The weapons are really cool. I do. I really do like this set. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I really do. I like it. It's good. So, so, uh, so Terror, great job. Chat. What do you guys think? Detraxis, what's going on, guys? What do you What do you guys think here? One to ten, just like you did. We're gonna do each person like this. The Crocs, though. The Crocs are a little rough. The pants. Pants are tough for shaman, but. Yeah, I see why you went with that one, because it kind of matches the gloves as well. Is that the same set, actually? Ferocious. Yeah, okay. Well, was playing some classic? Must be nice. I couldn't find shoes. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually really tough. 7.5. 7.5. They were, like, straight brown to match the skin tone. Yeah, they are, actually. They're probably pretty close. There are... I'm trying to look at it. I'm going to be looking at people's shoes, because I have this particular policy on shoes. You guys all know it. Six... Minus one for the Crocs, plus two for the Nips. You guys, okay, all right. Not a big fan of the helmet. Okay, okay. The purple is like a, is standing out a little bit, but I actually don't think it's too bad given that I know what you're going for and I know you're trying to show the chest and your tattoos because I do think the tattoos and the branding on Magkars is actually pretty sick. So that's pretty awesome. I, I, I like it. Shoes Monk. Uh, but the no, LAC is nice. It's pretty good. No, I don't have it. All right. Terror, thanks for being here. I know you've been waiting to show this off, so thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys. Gra. Gra. All right, dude. You've, uh, I know this set as well. I use this set. Uh, the, the, it's interesting that you're using that belt because I'm using this belt, which is, I think, the, uh, like the normal version. Is that the mythic belt, actually? I think it's, uh, cruel, no, no, cruel combatant. Is that the 2K set? It might be. Because otherwise, I don't actually know how you get that. But I do like the red. It does match the chest piece. You have a pretty much a uh, pretty pretty good set kind of theme going on here. I'm trying to see how mine's different. Yeah, okay. I'll be back. All right, Terry. No problem, my man. 
the shoulders are really uh, so the everyone we've seen so far hasn't shown shoulders. And you guys, if you've seen my my streams a lot, I don't use a lot of shoulders. So this, I I kind of I I kind of you know I can appreciate the shoulders are out. You're using the artifact weapon from Legion. With the orange tint matches the orange glow of your gear makes sense i don't know if there's a different helmet that doesn't have blue glow but you do have the sack on your head yeah i know that helmet it's kind of an interesting it's like the only one that i know of for shaman that is like pull over your face there is another one though actually that is uh that is like pull over your head i'm trying to think of maybe i'll find it later it's kind of funny though it was they were they came out in Legion in like one of the last seasons. It's kind of interesting. I was trying to remember. That's okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine. But anyway, so I like the shoulders. Is this? I mean, I'm looking at the set. I it, it's it looks like a set. It looks like it's uh, put together pretty well. I don't think. Yeah, cruel set. Is this the t is this the 2K set, or is this just the the normal set? The cruel set looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It does look classy. I like the gold and the red. It's a little bit darker. It's yeah. Uh, for me, it's a five. Uh, is that a legible graphical set? Five full set. Uh, you're, yeah, the, the full set. But I, I will, I'll, I'll tell you this: the weapon and the glow. It all that kind of dark orange theme and the dark gray. I do like it. But yeah, it is. Set. What about the helmet though? The helmet. Is the helmet? Nightborn stalkers. Okay. Yeah. 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 Change. Uh, set change. Uh, yeah, the set, the set. Yeah, that's true. But I do like the theme. I do like the glow, and it all kind of has the same feeling. So, all right, all right, all right, draw, draw. It's not, not, not shabby, not shabby. Guys, one to ten in the chat. You guys are already throwing it in there. You guys are already are learning how this goes. So I appreciate that. All right, we get to see fives. We get the sets. A lot of people are a little touchy on the sets, but that's okay. And the cr uh, the cr uh, the crotch cover is nice. Yeah, just in case it dangles a little bit. I, I do appreciate that too. I'm using the same thing. All right mongo dog holy crap dude all right this might be i don't know if we have any other zandalari here but this is the i have not seen very many zandalari trans bikes. and let me just say from going from this level to this i gotta look up this is a giant and you have put a giant's helmet on and you have a lot of skulls that's actually really cool uh, around your feet around your arms so that looks like gloves belt Boots might be uh, might be related to the same set. That weapon is actually larger than I expected. I'm actually uh, impressed. You did go with the nips out strategy. These are the first Zandalari nips we've seen. I'm screenshotting those. I do appreciate that. Plus two points in the chat. Uh, yeah, this is a Shaman Viking. That's for sure. Pretty interesting transmog. Your shield is from... I think that's the honor. I think your weapons are and your shield are both on... Uh, that's dread, really. Okay, that's honorable set. Yeah, which we saw a little bit earlier. I see kind of the, the golden tattoos wrapped up here. Do you have uh, wounded wrappings on or whatever it's called? No, hidden tabard. No, it does look like it's the uh, whatever the wounding, wounded bandages. But it's pretty cool. The gold is kind of underneath everything. Uh, I do, I'm not... Are you hold, hiding shoulders? You are hiding shoulders. I'm really surprised, actually, guys, at how many people hide shoulders these days i i was i'm doing it too a lot of the times but it's actually interesting because i used to play horde for the shoulders but now it's kind of changed pace all right the toenails do look like they have the cuticles might be a little okay a little off but that's okay uh i think let's i do really like the helmet though i do really like the helmet it is glowing eyes there I'm gonna go ahead and take a little peek in the behind side. The pants have like, uh, is that a set? I don't know if those pa those pants are related to the set. Zandy looks better without shoulders. I have to say, you do look. It, it does look pretty savage. Uh, it does look pretty savage. Windshear leggings, yeah, they looked a little bit different than yeah. Raven, okay, Hans with the Hans with height thing. Du -du 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 -du. Helmet is crowned with it. Okay, so it's not even a set actually. This is. Oh, I'm actually really surprised. That this isn't Sh screaming slag. Maybe it's the offset pieces, but your boots, star stalker treads. Really, I'm really impressed actually that that's not a set. I think there's some clipping. Uh, there's kind of like some it, not 100% kind of smoothness between mm -hmm. the uh, the boots. Sorry, the boots and the uh, the pants. But I think it, it looks okay. You have this this sheet thing that's floating a little bit. It's okay. It kind of goes with it. Kind of goes with the rest. It is. It is hard to find uh, 
find fitting pants for something else that's going so well. Every All this is kind of going together. No shoulder. So this means that this is just how the Zandalaris are built. I'm a little surprised. Actually, so this is your tattoo selection or your kind of opt for or for what it is. That's kind of interesting. Seven for me would be a higher if the chest piece matched a little bit better. The tattoos were hidden. Yeah, I, I was actually just about to ask that if you could hide tattoos. You probably can through the barber, right? That's really interesting. Yeah, the chest piece is this. It must be this. Yeah, I'm going to try it on. Oh, of course, I scuff it up immediately. The chest piece must be this then, right? Which is kind of interesting. I've never... I haven't seen that done on a shaman before. Raven Crest Chainmail. That's actually pretty interesting. Yeah, you can take the tattoos off. Interesting. Yeah, the tattoos are the golden pieces here. They aren't exactly fitting in uh, with the other pieces. I do see how they, it's bronze and gold. I would be I would be curious how that would look, but this is an interesting chest piece. I've never actually seen that before. I'd never seen that before. It doesn't uh it kinda matches it. Eh. Oh my god. Daddy. Oh. oh, interesting, interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting how that uh, that changes things. That is really bright, actually. That's really interesting. And that might be why you didn't go for it. But I do I do appreciate the helmet. That is a sick helmet. i I have not seen that in a while. My god. Interesting choice, the chest piece. The the colors here are kind of clashing a little bit to me. There's a, it's not necessarily one set of themes, but I do I do like it. I enjoy it. It makes me happy. And if I was running around a battleground and I saw you, I'd be like, my freaking god, that is beautiful. It really does. And Shrock, you're right. This does frame the nipples pretty well. I gotta say, I'm impressed with a lot of pieces of this transmog. These gloves, this belt, these boots. I think that. The helmet is in actually fitting pretty well with the skull theme. I'm curious. Yeah, I don't know if there's another purple uh, chest piece, like something from, uh, what is it? Uh, I think there's like one from Under Rot, maybe. But the pants, yeah, the pants are okay. But I think that, uh, I see why you could be going this, but I think there's like some different tones of metal here. But uh, I do like it. I do enjoy it. And I enjoy the, the horde shield here too. It really does make you feel like a freaking troll viking. So... Yeah, we're seeing some sevens in the chat. We see some toenails and dark nips. Oh, my God. It's pretty sexy, dude. Few that show nips. Yeah, there's not that many, actually. There's not that many. And it, it actually cracks me up that you guys particularly went for the nips. Because you know it. You just know how it is. Ray, I agree. I agree. We're up there. All right. All right. Thanks, uh, Mongo Dog. Appreciate you coming by, my friend. It's cool. And that head motion was pretty intimidating. All right. All right. Moving to the next boy. All right. Monlomo. <laughs> Holy shit. Taking a different approach to Shaman. Thinking about Shaman, I was expecting to see Savagery people enhance Ellie's all the way. And we're seeing a little bit of a change up. I'm a little surprised. I'm not going to lie. You come out of form. First, you're the first Torin. So congrats to you for being a Torin boy. Wait for it. Nips out. Oh, dude. Do you see his bandage? Oh, dude. They're out, dude. The Uts are out. The Utters are out. Oh, my God. Wait for it. He unravels it. Holy shit. This is interesting because I honestly, I don't, I don't just, I just don't see that many resto shamans anymore. So the fact that you came out with this headpiece kind of immediately made me think like, okay, you're resto. And then I saw the weapon and I did. This is a, I think this is a more advanced artifact weapon to be honest, uh, unlocked. What unlock is that? Scepter of the Tides. Is this one of the hidden artifacts actually? I do appreciate the resto. And the fact that you're torn... This uh, this transmog of the uh, the artifact weapons fitting with the leaves and everything of the na like nature and the water it's pretty good. It's a PVP honor, is it? Yeah, I never saw it. The totem on the back is is just really respectable, really respectable for a torn. I, I I gotta say I do I do I do respect that. What is that though? I'm wearing a high martin torn harness. Okay, the harness is part. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Not part of the transmog necessarily, but you are wearing the chest piece that I know and I love. This is the green version of the one that was worn earlier that was purple. Uh, we, we have a, a 5 minus 1 for skin tone, uh, plus 2 blue balls. That's true, though. No rules, Kappa. No, you're right. You're right. No, there, You're right. You did take advantage of it, guys. I did say no rules, so that is true. Okay, looks to me like you're using... I like how you're... Uh, you're that's got to be gloves, right? Your gloves and your pants and your weapons is kind of matching this theme. Of, and even your headpiece. Your headpiece, I don't even think it's supposed to, but it reminds me of kind of like Resto. Shadow Infused. Yeah, and your gloves. I'm just trying to check to see. Sets. Hidden shoulders, hidden cloak, of course. 
uh, Streamwalker Greaves. Yeah, it looks like you have basically on no shoes, but to be honest with you, that's what, just what Torns like usually have. 7.5. Ew, you are, oh, the people are liking it. Guys, what do you think? When I, when I, uh, when the cow wants to be a fish, Blight. Did you marketing for this man? You his hype man right now? Oh my god, guys, let me know in the chat what you think. One to ten. I do, I do like this. It's a pretty simple. I mean, you only have a few pieces. I mean, uh, you know, because the way Torn's transmogs work is there's no, <laughs> there's not like you can't be flashy with the uh, with the feet. You can't be flat. Uh, you can't be flashy with the shoulders, but they usually, in my opinion, like ruin things. You have the one horn. I respect that. I respect that. Uh, Blow my oh my god when you 7.5 makes me want to race change a shaman dude i'm not gonna lie this one is pretty classy especially for resto i do i do like it torns are i think honestly torns are really hard to transmog for i try to transmog my female torn and uh i'm not gonna lie to you it doesn't go well and the belt is a little off uh, uh color wise with everything else it looks like you even if this is even your uh your wrists the colors are a little bit off but it does your belt does go with the the danglies of your helmet and your uh your tentacles you do went with the nose ring all right i respect it i do i do like it it is uh it is pretty respectable to the to the shaman and uh, especially being a resto boy i have to say i give you i give it to you the chat seems to like it pretty well too. Makes me want to... Torin. Yeah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. I'm, I'm impressed. And using the totem, I did make no rules, so there it is. It does clip with the shield when it's on your back. And as, Sha as everyone knows, unless you're enhanced, you don't have your weapons out. I'm pretty sure Resto is the same way. You just cast with your hands. So that will cause a little bit of clipping. But uh, but I do like it. This is creative. This is creative. So I do appreciate that so much. All right, we're on to the next boy. Bow, bow. Okay. All right. This is taking me to avoid elf land right now. It's, it's a Zandalari. Way different feeling from this. Um than the previous Zandalari actually. And I think it probably has something to do with the helmet, but I, I uh you're 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 drawing me in with your belt. Because this is actually one of my favorite belts. Mostly because it has a dagger and has a pouch and it has a belt. Any belts that have like this belt thing that sticks out, these were not in the game for a really long time. Belts would always just be like these things that wrapped around your waist, you know what I mean? And now they started doing more fun things and making them actually three dimensional. I, I I'm just a sucker for those types of belts. Okay. This helmet, I'm actually a fan of. We saw an, a, a version of it on uh, oh, Maltair's trip. on Ramps. Ramps had a different version of this. It was the orange. Ver it was the uh, the brown version of this helmet. Also a fan of this helmet. These shoulders, I actually don't know where these are from. These are a version of like the T6, but this was back in Legion. I'm pretty sure Manting of the ra uh, Waning Radiance, probably from Nighthold. I want to say from raiding when at the same time that they rebooted the T6 set for in PvP and other things like that. So uh, Legion L L Legion LFR. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, because they rebooted everything back in Shaman. They made Shamans have like wherever it is like uh legion they have this set uh this set normal there it is wow yeah they tried they did this which was like t6 t6 reboot so i actually like that you're pulling in an lfr piece because those are a little bit harder to get the artifact weapon i'm surprised that i'm seeing artifact weapons i'm not gonna lie to you guys when legion was over i was like oh, that's the end of artifact weapon appearances but no and this is actually pretty cool because in your shoulders it's like the void going in you see like all these stars coming down it's like and uh, storms in your hand you're seeing a similar side effect there on the on your other side you're seeing something similar i like the particles of this set the chest piece and the boots are a little uh, a little interesting choices for me. I do like the belt, even though it's kind of like, I don't know if it fits the overall theme, but I like the handiness of it. I like, and I just like that, like I was describing. But the chest piece, this is actually more recent. This is from, uh, and is this one of those floating chests? No, it's not. Okay. This chest piece and, and pants, I'm pretty sure these are from BFA, right? Blight Guard. Yeah, okay. Okay, all right. Golders chainmail. Okay, I think those are from actually Darkshore, right? But uh, okay, all right. The, and 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 the boots. I see what I, maybe what you're trying to do with the green markings. Okay, it does actually match around the hands too. Now that the weapons are put away. Yeah, S2. Okay. Yeah, so I can see what you're doing here, matching those little gems up. It actually does look pretty good. The boots for some reason look like less pixelated, but or less pixely. But new helmet, new belt. Ten out of ten. That. You're not wrong. 
Uh, I'm, I'm gonna take off good luck as hey David take care my man. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for joining up Shrock all right, you guys are throwing in your numbers. All right. All right. Yeah, so I, I respect this transmog. I think that I'm looking at the No, that's all right. I do I do I do like it to be honest It's pretty classy that the the few colors are being used pretty well here the brown the brownness of the belt like bronze is a little not anywhere else but that is what it is purples don't match really well the purples are a little tough and i can see what you're trying to do especially because this is like the theme of this uh x pack of like dark shore uh, uh um what's her name sylvanas and all that stuff this purple is a little bit different but i actually do really like the shoulders i really like the helmet i really like the weapons it is like i really like it and you're actually using a cloak too you might be the first person to whip out a cloak first or second person to whip out a cloak I do, I do like it. I do like it. It looks pretty good. I'll show you how to do a purple mock. Oh my god! Close up in on the chain mails. <laughs> Manka. Yeah. No, I, I do like it actually, and it's using a lot of stuff from BFA, which I do appreciate. Probably in the future we'll do some rules like about what you can use when. This arm p the arm uh, the hands and the boots are clearly from other sets. I actually don't. And and to be honest, your boots they don't cover your feet, but that's just because you're a troll and you don't have any control over that. You know what I mean? So there's nothing you can really do about that. Okay. All right, cool. All right, hey. Bow bow. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you coming out. A few men left. Thank you, sir. All right. We went from a purple boy, and now we're to a green man. This green man, Enhanced Shaman. I have to say, I respect you, Enhanced Shaman, out there. Because the only thing you probably are doing these days are doing transmogs. So let's be honest. Tickle really getting into the details. Hey, man, I'm doing my best. I got I to gotta make sure I honor the effort you guys put into these. I'm, re I'm really impressed, guys. Like, so far, these sets are things that I, I'm, I'm going to start screenshotting them all. Because I really should. Because these are sets that I would use. You, they're way better than my sets. Not sure why I'm still phased from you guys. Shrock, I can get you in the group, man. Here, my friend. Let me get you in here, and then I got it. All right. All right, so... Oh, Akuranam, what's up? Thanks for joining this, my friend. I really appreciate it. Okay, so a few things about this right off the bat. I can tell, number one, you went for the clean appearance on the weapons. The weapons have a default glow. You didn't do any other enchants. I don't know if you can topple those enchants on top, but it actually looks pretty legit. Uh, we are in war mode. Yeah, we're in war mode. Uh, I can see that you do it appreciate that thrall will thank you because I actually was going for a transmog for enhance with no enchance on my weapons and they're basic axes I don't think axes have to be too advanced to look pretty badass These ones are actually pretty cool if you look they kind of have like teeth in the back I didn't notice that at first there is a set of this that are red and I think there's a set maybe that's Purple, I'm not exactly sure about the purple one. Okay, cool. And then you have okay You did choose to go with shoes interesting choice brown and uh, green the set I think maybe the chest piece uh, is just a dress the belt fitting well with that the shoulders are a little bit glowy fitting your weapons glow the the gloves aren't glowy, but they look like they would be but uh, But yeah, I do like it you went for this like green you can like see green circles all around this transmog You can see it in the in the in the goggles, which by the way, I love these goggles especially on, on orcs uh, so you can just kind of see these green circles kind of being all over your body, which is pretty cool. Ooh, let's not go to the back yet. Uh, I do like, I like the hair. I like everything there. The interesting, it's interesting that the tint that you picked for your skin color. I wonder if you did that intentionally because, um, I got, uh, okay. I, I think, okay. 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 Tara. Uh, I, I do appreciate the goggles. I do think that's good. And I, I don't know if you intentionally chose like changed your color of your skin, but it actually looks it looks like it kind of fits this green. Maybe not this bright green, but it, it does look it looks pretty good. Um Sonic Chamber back and head out. Alright, no, no problem, Bao Bao. But uh, but then I went but then I went back here. I see what you're doing with the circle again. That's like symmetric around you, right? Like circle, 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 everywhere. But the purple, yikes, yikes with the purple, my friend. It doesn't exactly match. I mean, you can see like a little bit of brown here. But to be honest with you, yeah, the purple. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know how big a fan I am of the of the cloak being the purple there. Uh, eight minus one receding hairline that uh, legion green uh, that's legion green yeah this one doesn't really match the circle sim symbolism wise does but yeah that's that's a little bit of a that's a little rough the purple if if you got rid of the purple and you got maybe something a little bit different it might be 
I, I could see it, but actually this is pretty pretty sick. This set is actually from ICC, I believe. The gloves, the shoulders, the chest piece, I don't know where it's from. Vestiments of the Steaming Icker. I don't know where that is. I'm screenshotting that because I'm going to look it up later. The shoes, it is what it is. I mean, you have to deal with shoes as Shaman. Uh, or you don't and you go barefoot. I don't think barefoot would actually be a good look here. But uh, but yeah, I do, I do like the goggles as well. I do like it. Not used very often. You don't see it very often. But I, I, in general, the set's pretty clean. In general, this is like this chest piece. You know, I'm wondering if you were to try a different chest piece. Uh, uh, if it would be match. But I do like kind of, I kind of get what you're going for here. And I do, I do really do like it, to be honest. Especially the weapons, the shoulders, the hel the goggles, and the gloves. So, hey, Akura, good to see you. Thanks for joining this. And uh, thank you very much, man. I'm going to move to the next boy. All right, the next boy, Zerst. Oh, dude. You, there's a, there's some transmogs, they get whipped out, and you get a little intimidated. This is one that caught me a little bit off guard, and it's probably because of the shoulders. We had one earlier with a, he, a really strong looking helmet, and this one comes at you looking pretty, pretty tough. Pretty tough, with the shoulders especially. I didn't even know those, I don't even know what those shoulders are, to be honest with you. Let's see here. Thrall's Shoulder Pass of Conquest. Probably from SOO then. That means the helmet's probably from there too. Yep, Thrall's. Okay, so we have a set going on here. Okay, so we do have a, a little bit of a set, but I had no rules. And it does match very well, I do have to say. I think the shoes, the boots do not. I think those are actually from this season of PvP. Oh, no, they're honor bound. <laughs> hey, you know what, dude? You know what? It's okay. This reminds me a lot of uh, uh, Grim Patol and like that uh, Bastion of Twilight and that stuff. The sh uh, okay, interesting choice with the cloak. Cloaks are really bold because they can t they are like your entire back look. You know what I'm saying? And so like this pink is a, maybe a little bit brighter than other places, but it has like fake ruffles. Yeah, back in one. Six minus one boots. <laughs> True. I actually, I actually do like this set. The the belt's an interesting choice. I think it does go pretty well. I like the difference between the blue fire and the red fire. And then on the weapon, you're seeing the same pink, uh, sorry, purple transmog from the artifact weapon, which is actually a pretty good looking one. I have to say, this one, it does look pretty cool. So this one is is pretty heavy on particles, but it looks pretty good. I think the boots are a little yikers, but it's pretty good. Now the belt, hmm, I'm trying to think. If this would be better, oh wow, I'm not gonna look at your item level. Thralls, yeah, the Thrall set's strong with you, but you know, the belt though, to be honest, there's actually a blue version of that belt. I'm actually wondering if that would have been a little bit like this. This, oh, uh, you, so you're, yeah, you're using, yeah, the blue one, maybe, I don't know. But I do like how the red is here, the red is here, the red is here. So I get what you're doing. Actually, I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Chat, what do you think? The, you said belts gray interest yeah belts gray man. the boots are are off though that's for sure but uh this is pretty good this is pretty good i li i do like it i haven't seen this set used very often at all especially for an ellie shaman you know what i'm saying i do like the fire on the shoulders Blight, what do you think zerst comes coming out here dude number one competition this is a tough one. We got a 6.5. All right. Okay, guys. All right. Zerst, I appreciate you coming out, man. This is a... I think it's a good-looking set. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is one... I am going to go farm. I am going to go get it. So, this is actually pretty classy. I think that is a beginning of something great in future Transmog competitions. I do expect us to see that again. Same as this set. We're going to see something like that again, too. Uh, same as a lot of the other ones. <laughs> that one is unique. All right. Anyway, Zerst, thank you so much, man. All right, I'm going to move on to the next boy. We got a few boys left. All right, another Zandalari. A lot of Zandalari out there. I hope you guys are liking it. Oh, sadism. The Kerwin. The Boy Wonder. All right, man. Interesting choice. I see what you've done here with your chest piece. You've kind of covered up your tattoos. You didn't hide them. You covered them up probably to save gold. I understand. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know those weapons. This is a. Uh, this reminds me of Botswana. Yep, those weapons are actually really cool. Talon guard short blade. Okay, that's actually. A, I don't know if that's the same one I was, I was using. Okay, okay. You're on a monk though. These short blade. They are swords. Interesting. Friend, I actually like these weapons a lot, and it actually fits the whole purple transmog. Especially you have purple feathers in your hair. You have uh, purple on your shoulders. The purple it has like kind of accents, so that's kind of good. It kind of catches the light, even though it's not really catching the light. 
I give this a solid 5.5. 5. Uh, I like how the accents of the chest appear to point to the to the hidden nips beyond. They do kind of, don't they? It's interesting that the yeah that the gold is there. The belt, uh, the belt is standing out to me a little bit. The chest piece is definitely going with the full theme of, uh, and guys, just want to remind you, this is a monk, so a leather wear, a little bit different, right? So their nips are different, remember that. So this is swords and this is leather. All right, um, so I see what you're doing with the boots, but they kind of get cut off. They're kind of, it's kind of awkward, but, uh, but I do like what you're doing here, especially with the bone set, because some sets are like, if you look at this chest piece, it's like the bones are built in to the chest, like you see that, but... Uh, you know, even on the on the bracers and stuff like that, but on the shoulders on the helmet on the pants even those pants are actually pretty rad because that's what they are They're pretty strong and now I would question there is the belt that was used earlier Where is he? Um, I think he had my uh, he might have had to he's switching characters actually, but uh, their nips are a little bit different Oh my goodness. He has he has family. Oh, okay Rampant hate. Uh, yeah, so the belt, I think there might be actually a bone belt. Uh, oh, but it's male. I don't know what there is for leather, but yeah, I think the belt's standing out a little bit. This uh, aqua is, uh, is a little distracting, but in general, I like the helmet. I like the shoulders. I like the hand. I like your set. There is a purple versus brown difference here, though. All right, let me see. And I, what I want to start doing is I want to start paying attention so I learn more about the sets. So Tide Mother, Phantom... Gore. Okay, so these aren't necessarily a oh, death stalker death stalker death stalker. Okay. I see how that's uh, together I really do like the weapons. I like that you didn't put an enchant on them I think that's really classy especially for swords in general. I think they're pretty good Okay, so this isn't okay. So it is a death stalker set. Okay. I forget that they're not tier sets anymore, right? Okay, cool. All right, cool. Hey Sadism Kerwin love you dude. Love you dude. Thank you for being here Especially on, the, on another class. You are the monk, and next to the only other monk here, I mean, uh, Mr. Toenail. So thanks, Sadism. All right, going on to the next boy. <sighs> Billy Bass. Billy Bass, the man wonder. All right, you know I've seen this before. You know I've seen this before. You flashed it at me. I think you might have changed a few things, so let's take a quick look. I do like the outlined, uh, this is again leather, it's a monk, clearly. This weapon, is. this must be, I haven't seen this very often, must be the, uh, ooh. Interesting that that's green and not blue, though. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Chest is bright. Yeah, the chest is pretty bright. It is a little bit different color than this fire, to be honest. That is a really cool shoulder piece. And maybe if I zoom out more and I'm not so like in your face, uh, I do like le I do like that it looks like you're wearing pajamas a little bit on the top half. The bottom is uh. The pants kind of go a little bit with the chest piece. I don't know if this is the chest piece overflowing, but it's pretty cool. I like the the belt. I've not seen this belt before with two little daggers in it. Like I said earlier, I really do like the daggers, the dagger, uh, that belts that uh, that have things on them. So I am a fan of that. The feet that you went for, I don't know if you can get naked feet, but uh, cut your toenails, please. I can take the shoulders off. Don't you dare. This Let me just say I appreciate one thing more than anything. Your eye color is matching your 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 nip coverage, which is also known as your shirt. I do appreciate that. I just have it on the uh, because of the fire. No, the fire is pretty rad. I do like it. The color of your skin is a little yellow, which conflicts a little bit, but you can't really control that. You were born that way. You are born that way. The weapon is pretty rad, though, and it does fit everything. I do really do like it. The fire is a little bit... Different. I like the mohawk. I like the whiteness of the hair, and that matches pretty well. I didn't even know you could get this for your your chin, my bob. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I want to just check really quick if it's a set. I do. I do like it though. The purple on your chest is a little. I think that you may have to have that. I think these are a little bit different tints. Like this green fire is a little bit off. But to be honest, maybe it's okay. Maybe that's the inflamed version of it. I'm gonna screenshot you too. I'm gonna screenshot everybody so I can, I can put something together. Brush your teeth, he says. Oh my god. Because one big thing here is that this is a resto shaman. You guys probably didn't think it was. I didn't think it was. I thought this was definitely an Ellie. Based on how aggressive this looks. This is actually surprisingly, uh, surprisingly satisfying. When I saw this at first, it, it gave me kind of a mop feeling, to be honest with you. But this is a Zandalar, you know, Zandalar shoulders. This chest piece actually matches the bottom pretty well. Your beard actually... Your beard matches the rug. Um, the fire skull actually goes pretty well with the set, probably because of this gold. And even your shoes. 
your shoes actually go pretty well with this. This is uh, pretty impressive. I mean, this is pretty impressive. The, okay, the, the, there's clipping with your belt. I do like the red symbol. If I ignored the clipping that I know is there, I think it matches really well, especially with kind of the circle and fire. Like even with this, there's the gems in there. You do, you did go for the uh, patch, uh, and I know that's because you've been through some shit, so I do respect that. All right. I like it. Yeah, dude, it's kind of kick-ass Santa. Dude, that's actually a pretty good name for this transmog. I do like, oh, even the cloak is classy. I'm a little surprised, guys, and this is a resto shaman. Not watery like the other boy, but this is pretty impressive, I'm just going to say. And the other thing about this is this weapon. I mean, you picked an axe. You could have picked anything, and you picked this clean axe that is red with a red little dingy Damn on it. Machine. Oh, my God. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this. Even the backside of the shield is matching. Shrock, I got to tell you, this is pretty impressive, my friend. All right. All right, this is a pretty interesting transmog. It reminds me of, uh, of Darkshore a bit. It reminds me of Tendrasol. It reminds me of uh, the whole lunar and solar, like kind of the lunar and the, and the shadow stuff from like Void Elf and from, what was that dungeon? There was some dungeon. Maybe it was like Nighthold. No. Tomb of Sargeras had a boss like that. I don't even know how you actually have this stuff. It looks like this would be a Night Elf transmog set. I'm actually not sure how you did this. I'm really not sure how he did. Conquer's Night Song shoulder pads? I don't actually know what this is from, but I'm I'm kind of impressed. Tabard is the Dream Weavers. Interesting. That's actually... Tusk does good. The Tusk does go well. It does it with the swirling over here. I think this, this by the way, is a Druid Transmog, guys. So, uh, I gotta say. Shoulders are old or really? That is really cool. The spinning balls here. Spinning balls here. And kind of going with the going here. McStabber, thanks for the follow, man. I, d I actually dig this a lot, man. I know you're not in the competition, but this is pretty good. Even the daggers kind of match that whole theme. The wet, the sh the gloves look like a little red to me versus the purple. I think this is a little bit mismatched. You can probably improve that a little bit. Um, and making sure that these purple on your pants is matching, I think it's generally pretty good. You have these things on the side, which I never understand and kind of clips. Maybe that could be a little bit better, but I like the belt. The chest, the shoulders, and the helmet. I, it's so hard for me to even see your helmet. But to be honest, the helmet is pretty sick with the eyes are per that are purple. There's no... You know what's really rare here? Is that this is a troll helmet, but there's barely any clipping. Shh, oh, wait. You're Surmar. No, no, no. You're Sahindalari. I'm like, why are these ears? Yeah, these are ears. I mean, there's going to be clipping. But in general, it doesn't look that bad for clipping. This, this color is a little bit different than the chest piece. So maybe the chest piece could be a little bit darker. But I think it's pretty good. Yeah, red. Is that a tabard? Yeah, I guess that. I guess it is. All right, the tabard is the Dreamweavers Initiates tabard. Uh, we yeah, I gave you the review already, but I have to tell you, and then no enchant on those bloody things is awesome. The blood filled chest uh, set uh, wa uh, waist is pretty good. The pants have a little bit of green in the back, which I'm not really. You're, that could probably be a little bit better. Uh, but the gold of your tattoos is gonna match this gold of the circles, which actually makes a lot of sense So it's pretty good. The boots are good. I think the legs could probably be maybe a little bit better The chest piece actually goes pretty well with the enchant. I do like it is kind of hard sometimes to get in chance to look pretty good But I do like the way this looks this does look like the rogue set You see rogues using this with the screaming faces the tabard of course clips with the uh, the belt, but it's it's not too bad I think maybe there might be an you know the belt i don't know that i'm not a big fan of the flat belts but it is what it is i do see why you're, you're going for the o face i get it chat what do you think about this one to ten i do really like this tabard actually i don't know what tabard this is let's take a quick peek i do really like this tabard the nightfall it's really the night fallen are you shitting me that's really surprising to me. The shoulders are pretty classy and basic. There's a little bit of uh, a kind of glow on them, but it, it does look pretty good. The the gloves can't go unnoticed, everybody. If you guys don't see, these are like brass knuckles gloves. They're the uh, glovelets of opening. It's actually pretty good. That's pretty cool looking. I like the blindfold. Yeah, he does have the Illidan blindfold, right? Yeah. He does look pretty monkish. I'm not going to lie to you. This is the most kung fu monk I've seen in a while. He does look like he's a pretty scary boy from the shadows. I do like it, guys. What do you think? Ray, what do you think? 1 to 10. 
It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, guys. All right, Matt. Thank you for joining and entering the, and the, entering the trans mine. I do think this is pretty classy. I have to say. I actually like the color of your skin under there too. To be honest with you, that's pretty good. Oh, I've seen. I think I've seen you with this. This is. Uh, yep, the artifact enhanced weapons. This set actually goes pretty well together. It's. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is. Uh, the chest piece is from like. Uh, what is this? It's like tier. What is it? Is it Merciless Gladius or like, okay, so two, so season two, okay, with the shoulders, okay. So you're mixing and matching that together, you do, you went with the tail, which is a risky choice, guys. Risky choice going with the tail, the helmet has the horns. By the way, pandas for some reason have huge helmets, compared to the shoulders, more than like orcs, definitely more than orcs. I do like this, I do like the feet sticking out a little bit with the, with the gold lining, I do like the, uh, this in general, it looks very molten. And it does actually kind of just sync pretty well together. I think there's uh, the shoulders, helmet, and uh, weapons. Uh, let's see. The wep uh, uh, the shoulders are... Yeah, pauldron of the warp. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't expect that. I figured it was part of a set. I figure it's the fearless set, but it, that is what it is. So, Billy Bass, I, do, I actually do really do like this set. I've seen it on you before, and I think that even the helmet actually goes pretty well overall. I do like that you don't have a cloak as well, and the weapon matches your shoulders like pretty well. Vindictive. Oh, yeah, 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 the, This chest piece and pants, it looks like it's made out of solid gold, which is a little bit different than the shoulders. So, like, even, like, it just looks like the quality is different, which is a little bit, uh, you know, it is what it is. Being here. All right, guys, uh, now I have to make my decision on the top three boys. So, if you don't mind, I'm just going to take I'm just gonna take one one last look around, guys. Make sure to soak it in. Make sure to soak it in. Shrock, thank you. I'm gonna, I'll go around this way. Billy, be, thanks for being here. Thanks for being here, boys. Make sure you guys are whipping it out. All right. Yep, Shrock's there. We got a Gra, Gra here. All right. All right. We got a, a Kuramana, the green man. We got Monolo. Oh, man. The fishman. The fr the only torn here. He's the only torn here. I give him a lot of credit. Standing up for his people. With the totem on the back because there are no rules. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah. There's that. Screenshotting that. Looking pretty good as the Viking boy. Oh, he's cha Sadism changes it again. Sadism, you changed three times. This set is sick, but I'm not counting it for this trans mine. Now you're, you'll be in next time for that. We got Matt here. It's me. Molten Fist would have been a, a better fit. Well, I'm be generous. Winston, you're beautiful, man. All right, Matt's trans mine. Looking very pink. I do like the enchant. I'm a sucker for a little bit of glow. All right, all right. Yeah, we and we and we saw you as well. I'm screenshotting everybody as we walk by. All right, so my top three choices. Manola, not you, Siri. Shino and Mongo Dog. You guys, you guys made it to the last round of this of today's competition. I want to thank everybody for being here. Please step forward. I think what I'm gonna have to do, guys. I do have to say, I want to thank you, these guys, and everybody else for joining. This has been actually really way. This has been awesome and a little scuffed at the beginning, but we're gonna get the rules together. But I want to thank everybody for being here, and the winner of this competition, who is gonna get. A t-shirt from the new line of frickin' merch is gonna be. It's gonna be. Mongo Dog. Mongo Dog, I wanna thank you for being here. I wanna thank you for being one of the most intimidating shaman I have ever seen. I want to thank you for this set. There was no rules today, and uh, I want to thank you for coming out. Your set is has multiple pieces. It's not even really a, a bunch of pieces from a, a single set. It's actually pretty impressive. I do think the shoulders and the chest piece maybe, and the you know it kind of doesn't quite go together. But the overall message that you're sending is uh, is that of, of doom, and 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 Shrock and uh, and Manolo. I want to thank you guys so much. You guys all looked awesome. Uh, I do have to say, I want I want to thank everybody for coming here. Let's see the chat. The chat all said Mongo Dog. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. I got some screenshots. I'll put it up on the Instagram and I'll throw it up on the internet. But hey, thank you so much. The winner being Mongo. Mongo, dude, you have a, you have, it's really cool transmog, man. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna look this up. That helmet specifically, you know, and the skulls was just, it was great, man. It was really cool. It was really cool. I've never seen that. That's what I'm saying, Taco. Taco, oh my god, looking at Tix Mog. I know, dude! I know, dude. I'm the golden boy.